charm. Here we go. Three, two, one, shoot. Let's see those picks. Who won? And we have a winner. Miana's scissors cut through Alex's paper. So in this video, we are going to take a look at the new model capabilities for GPT-40 or Omni. I'll put the link to this web page in the description, but here GPT-40 receives an instruction for a cartoon mail delivery person. Here we go. And then this is Sally. And as you can see, the consistency across outputs is amazing. This is Sally. Sally's standing facing the camera with a smile on her face. And then here it says now Sally's being chased by a dog. Consistency though. I just do want to say that currently at launch, these capabilities are not fully available. GPT-4 Omni takes in, currently can take in text and image and respond with text only. So its image generation is not available just yet. But here there is, it's instructed to write this really complex poetry and it does a great job. Look at this. I mean, it's pretty incredible. And then it's asked to turn it into dark mode and it's able to do that. And then it's asked to remove the lines, paper lines, and it actually still does that. And the consistency across these Design patterns is also amazing. Like take a look at the spiral is present in all of them. Here is one for a 3D object synthesis. It's being asked to create a realistic looking 3D rendering of OpenAI logo. Here is view zero, here is view five, and here is a rendering of six images combined, kind of like a, a GIF image. Here's a sea lion. You can actually play uh, with the GPT-40 at the playground. It's also available via the API. I'll be making more videos on that. Uh, so you can actually play around with it. But as you can see, you can upload images and text instructions, and it will only respond with text. Also remember, we had looked at GPT, good GPT-2 from the LMSS arena. Actually, here is the results uh, the OpenAI had gotten. So the, I am also a good GPT-2. Actually, was a, a better model, I suppose, and that is what the GPT-40 is. And actually, as far as the ELO ratings, it has uh, almost 60 points, 67 points over the latest GPT-4 Turbo, which was the leading model. So this is a huge jump. As you can see, uh, we had all the GPT-3.5 level models on the right side, and these were all the GPT-4 level models, including Gemini and Opus. And this just creates a whole new class on its own. By the way, if you're enjoying, you can follow me at, at Hive underscore Echo on Twitter. I do make some posts there as well. Another awesome thing is that the GPT-4.0 is available at Cursor. Just go to your models and you'll see it there and you'll be able to select it here. I was actually working on a... Um, the Visual Studio Code extension. And I asked it to add more functionality to it, almost so much so that you must return at least 200 lines of code and look at all the code it returns. So this is this great, I am also a good GPT-2 model. Uh, and I, it had, I had to click continue and look at all this code it wrote. So the laziness has been solved, at least for sure. Here is another example. Uh, these are, it's giving photos and it's asked to turn it into a caricature. And look at the fidelity here. Same with this image. And here is another, and yet another. And here is a few more. I mean, so this really is going to change. So we're gonna have access to more of these towards the end of the year. And also the desktop model, if you've heard, the text desktop app is only going to be available for Mac OS, which is a little bit of a bummer for me because I'm on Windows. But as you know, the iOS app is going to be incredible and it's going to be rolling out in the coming weeks. Take a look at this. Hey, Chad, are you there? Hey, yep, yeah, I'm here. What's up? Hey, let's do, let's have some fun. I'd like you to be super sarcastic. Everything you say from now on is just going to be dripping in sarcasm. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds just amazing. Being sarcastic all the time isn't exhausting or anything. It's just incredible. And uh, this was, take, let's take a look at this one too. This is interview prep. And this gentleman says he's interviewing with OpenAI. So, uh, GPT-4, oh. Sounds vaguely familiar. <laughs> interview. Well, it's for a software engineering role, but I just need to know, do I look presentable, professional? Well, Rocky, 
you definitely have the I've been coding all night look down, which could actually work in your favor. Maybe just run a hand through your hair. Yeah, uh, I'll be posting this link in the description. Uh, so, so you can actually take a look at all the details and uh, this there have right here uh, a, a benchmark with text evaluation. So it's mostly up to par with GPT-4 uh, Turbo, but it actually outputs a lot of code and it's really good at code as you've seen from my previous videos. Here is the audio performance in comparison to Whisper and it's just word error rate is so much lower audio translation performance. So you can take a look at these more in detail. Well, it's, I'm, I'm really excited. I can't wait to make some more videos on this, especially with coding. You know, let's code some nice, super nice apps. Thank you for watching. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. And some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours, over 300 uh, projects as a patron. You will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well. This was the end of our video, but I'd like to talk quickly about my uh, Octave Streamer version 3 project. The Streamer version 3 is a PyQt powered PyInstaller packaged Python project that I came up with. Use the OpenAI API key to create course websites such as this one in real time. This is also deployed at Railway and including with audio. The Elif clause. In Python, so you have quite a lot of choices, such as six different voice choices and over 50 languages that you can choose from. You can choose light or dark theme. Uh, when you go here, you generate courses. You just enter uh, a, a course that you would like to generate. For example, we just did permaculture basics, and I can pick how many chapters I'd like to generate. And I'm just going to go ahead and generate it real quick. This, should, this shouldn't take too long. Our curriculum was created successfully. I can go into view course outline and search for that uh, for my culture. And I, as I can see, ethics and principles, design methods and tools, and practical applications. I can then actually uh, select this uh, course outline and continue to generate the course it in light mode. And then uh, the website will launch automatically and will be created for you in real time. And you can record it as I'm doing right now or actually live stream it. It's really up to you. And once it begins, we'll be able ethics to... Ethics of care for the earth. Streaming. Permaculture revolves around three core ethics, one of which is the care for the earth. This ethic... I'm going to go ahead and pause it. If I were to let this run, then this entire course will be generated live, and I can listen to it live. I'm going to go ahead and stop. And if I were to let this course be generated, then it'll be under my view and launch generated courses. For example, I just created a course called Financial Basics for... Let's go ahead and launch. It's like this. I can actually switch to uh, light mode as well, I believe. Uh, I'm sorry, dark mode. And then I can re revisit the scores. Both, I can zoom in. Both is in text and... The importance of emergency funds. Yeah, it has three chapters, which I can easily use. The benefit of this, uh, and what you'll get out of it, is that uh, instead of chatting with in a disorganized manner, this allows you to create uh, structured courses that you can... Uh, run and listen to before you go to sleep or just fill your time. When you have uh, just five minutes or 10 minutes worth, you can visit these courses back whenever, anytime you like. So AutoStreamer, you can download a free demo for from autostreamer.live. I'll put the link in the description. Mac version is coming soon. You can, if you click on the download free demo, it will take you to my uh, Google Drive download. And these are the files you'll be downloading. Autostreamerdemo.exe is the same thing as this, except with limited features. And if you wanted to download the full version, then click on this. will take you to my Patreon shop, where it's currently only for $200 instead of $300. You can read all about it in uh, the website. You do need an OpenAI API key for this to work. And sometimes you're, this is a Py installer package, the PyQt Python application. So your McAfee or malware bytes may uh, flag it as, as not good, but as a matter of fact, all you have to do is just make an exception for the program. And if you have any questions, feel free to join our Discord or ask me a question that you have in Discord.
Well, thank you for watching and do let me know what you think of this project. I was really proud of this one. And like I said, the code files will be available at uh, Patreon. And I also have special tiers for one-on-one -on -one meetings with me, if that's something you're interested in. And uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.